One of the great resources produced by the USPTO for trademark filers is the Trademark Manual of Examining Procedure, TMEP. Within that, which has hundreds of sections and guidelines and rules and procedures, within that, there's a particularly useful checklist for new trademark applications and the things that go into it. This is in TMEP section 818. And the reason I bring it up is that while it is very helpful for the USPTO to sort of delineate all the different elements that must be in a new application, it lists more than 20 things. And so what seems simple at first, like so much in the world of trademarks, when you begin to peel back the layers and peel back the meaning of the words and the things at hand is much more nuanced and often much more complicated. So it seems simple that of course you need to have an owner of an application and you need to have a mark that you're applying for. And you need to have goods and services that are listed and you need to have an address. But each of these things has several, several layers of nuance depending on the circumstances. And sometimes it can be very complicated. Even something as simple as an address can have a lot of connotations or permutations depending on whether it's foreign or US, depending on whether it's a PO box or a mailbox and the additional requirements that that creates and leads to. And that's just one example of something that's seemingly simple but on this checklist, each item carries that type of nuance. So for all of these reasons, for all the reasons in that checklist, trademark applications may seem straightforward, but having experienced counsel is very, very useful. There are studies based on actual data from decades of trademark filings that show working with experienced counsel increases the odds of approval and registration. You can search our past episodes to find a video all about that with a link to that article. But take a look at TMEP section 818. We'll drop a link in the description here or you can just search on your favorite search engine, TMEP 818, and I'm sure it will come up. And you can see, again, simple but not simple. It sort of summarizes the whole trademark application process right there.